Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to change color of an eye in Photoshop. Click the subscribe button and enable the notification with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. All right, here I am in Photoshop and um, this, is, um, this is a headshot I took a while ago. Now the eyes are both uh, in focus and they're sharp enough. Uh, there is quite a lot of detail here so I can uh, play with it. First thing, I'm going to make sure to have the elliptical marquee tool selected. And I'm going to draw a selection which is roughly the size of the pupil. Now, with the spacebar, I'm going to reposition the selection. And I am looking for a selection which is just a little bit smaller than the pupil. Something like this should be fine. Now, as second step, I'm going to make sure that the intersect with section is selected. Let me show you how, how it works. It's much easier to show you. Uh, so I'm going to match this time at the bottom of the eye. And again, with the space bar, I'm repositioning the selection. And right about there is maybe something like this should be fine. And then I'm going to draw a third selection that I'm going to try to match to the upper part of the eye and I think it might be probably something like something like this and release right now I have the area I wanted to select selected right click inside the selection and then save selection and I'm gonna call this left pupil and I'm gonna switch to the other one I'm going to do exactly the same thing. First thing, I'm going to draw a selection which is roughly the size of the pupil. And I'll call this right pupil. I'm going to switch to the channels. And as you can see, we have the RGB, red, green, blue, and two additional channels. These are the selections. Let me zoom out a little bit. These are the selections we just made. Now, in order to be able to select both, I'm just going to click on RGB. So I go back to my image. I'm going to command click on the first one. This is loading the first selection. And then command shift on the second one. As you can see, the icon next to the hand uh, is switching to a selection with a plus sign. And I'm going to click that. This is going to add the selection to the previous selection. I can go back to layers and I'm going to create a group and I'm going to assign a mask to this group. Now, with the group selected, I'm going to create a solid color layer because I want to add color um, to the pupils. Uh, for now, I'm going to make my life easier. I'm going to select a white. And the reason I'm going to select a white, let me zoom in a little bit, is because by having a pure white layer, uh, I can see the the edge of the pupils and I can see my mask and I can define, refine my mask. So I'm going to go with that. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this layer mask because I don't really need it. And delete. And now I'm going to double click on the mask of the group to refine my um, masks. Uh, what I'm looking for here is to increase the radius maybe two pixels. I don't want to do too much. Then I'm going to feather a, a little bit. And that's because the border of the pupil is where uh, it's, it's a darker color. So usually the coloration doesn't affect the border of the pupil. Uh, and by adding feathering, there is a nice uh, fading off of the color, a natural fading off of the color. I'm going to just shrink the mask five negative five, negative seven, add a little bit of contrast. Okay. And now you can see the selection, it's much smoother and it doesn't affect the border. There is one more thing I need to do. Let me, let me hide this group. So let's study one second the pupil and I'm going to go to the rectangular marquee tool. So we said that the border is darker and there is a nice fade off of the color into the border and that's fine but also the center of the eye is dark. And there are some darker um, areas of the eyes. Now, this part, because they are quite close to black, if not black, 
they are not going to be affected by coloration at all. So we need to remove them from the layer fill. And so we're going to do that in this way. First of all, double click on the color fill layer name and I'm going to call this pupil color. And then next to the name, not on the name, next to the name, double click. This is going to open the layer style panel. Now I'm clicking on Alt to have a smoother transition and I'm just going to take this part up until almost all the dark part of the eye is going through and then maybe crushing the blacks a little bit more. Something like this is fine. Okay, I'm going to check the other eye as well and this should be fine. Now, with this done, I can just double click on the color layer and pick the color I want. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, I will go crazy and I will give this guy a green eye. So click OK. And now it's time to play with the blending mode. There are a couple of blending modes we can apply here. Uh, one is soft light. Now, soft light is blending the color with the underneath layer nicely, but it's not vibrant enough. There is an easier way to do this, and that is going through multiply. Now, multiply, let me zoom out, um, is going to give a realistic look. The only problem here is that because I'm going for a very crazy look, I want to enhance luminosity of the eyes um, as well as contrast. So let's do that. So first thing, I'm going to go for a curve layer and I'm going to go to screen. Now, as you can see, this is brightening up the eye quite a lot. Again, same thing. I want to do this. Um, I want to apply this only to the highlights. So I'm going to go crazy with the adjustment so I can see what I do. Double click next to the name to uh, open up the layer style. And again, I'm just making sure that only the dark, sorry, only the bright part of the eyes are affected. Something like that. Click OK, double click on the name and let's call it brighten up. Uh, let's reset the curve. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. This is definitely crazy. And I'm going to type 5 to have a 50% opacity. So this is going through only 50%, uh, maybe 40%. And now last thing I want to do is add a little bit more contrast. So I could go through adding a curve layer and then I don't want to affect any color. So selecting luminosity and then introducing an S curve. And this is, as you can see here, let me put both, let me put this size here. This is adding contrast. Uh, I want to show you another way to add contrast to an image. And that is, I'm going to select Brighten Up because I want the new layer to show up on top of it. And I'm going to select a black and white layer. With, uh, with the black and white layer selected, I just want to center both eyes so we can see both eyes. I change blending mode to soft light. And as I do that, you can see that this is adding a lot of contrast. Now, this is probably too much. So I'm probably going to type 3 to have a 30% contrast. It's a 30% opacity, so a 30% contrast. And uh, sure enough, that's, that's something I like. Uh, double click on the name, contrast, zoom out a little bit. And as you can see, this is, well, let's rename also this group and eyes color. And as you can see, this is the before and this is the after. Now, because we've done all this work of adding contrast, brighten and uh, coloration, all masked by this layer, we can now go ahead uh, in a non-destructive way. Let me zoom in and change the color if you like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double tap on the color picker and I'm going to get this time uh, red. And sure enough, we'll have to fine tune, brighten up a contrast 
in fact brighten up I think I can bring it to 60 and then maybe contrast a little less so 10 percent and now we gave him a crazy red eye if we want to do more realistic looks then double click on the color picker and we can start to play around with you know this color and and in this picker color picker if I move left to right I change hue of the color and if I move top down I will change saturation of the color so let's say I am a very saturated red as I go down the color becomes less saturated and the same is for this nice cold color here as I go down I have the same hue but it's just getting more and more desaturated and there you have it don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon to stay notified with new updates thanks for watching and see you next time